Good morning, everybody. This is Paul Payne from the Subtropical Gardening Magazine. It's a beautiful morning after so many weeks of rain, and we're looking forward to more days of clear, especially for those going to the Ipswich Plant Expo this coming Saturday and Sunday, the 9th and 10th of March. I'm currently on our back deck. We've just moved here, and we're looking forward to, I don't know, creating a new home with a new garden, extending the natural bushland, and trying to incorporate and encourage more bird life butterflies and the native bees into the yard and through the property. We've already seen the wallabies, we've seen a fair few of the bird lie. I've only seen one snake so far, so looking forward to see a few more. And of course, trying to encourage as much as we can back to the local flora, and as well as having some of my favorite non-native plants incorporated into the garden, especially in the front ornamental section. But most importantly for you listeners and watchers, um, we encourage you to check out the latest issue of the Subtropical Gardening Magazine. There's so much information in there covering the months of February, March, April and early May. Um, we do hope to catch up with you at the Ipswich Plant Expo. If you'd like to know a little bit more about that event, go to plantexpo.com.au and all of the guest speakers, their topics, the exhibitors are all listed there. There's a great amount of information and if you're unsure where it is, Ipswich, it's pretty close to Brisbane, it's only about 35 minutes drive from the city, easy to get to from the western parts of South East Queensland, the northern parts, and also from northern New South Wales, extremely easy to get to, so we look forward to seeing you there. Um, so I suppose from all of our contributors, our writers, and our graphic support staff, we wish to thank the Queensland Council of Garden Clubs, who gave us the 2012 Most popular gardening publication. Now we're incredibly pleased to receive that. We, we won over other magazines, articles, websites, even gardening books. So thank you. <laughs> um, and we're going to be making sure that we have more information for you guys, for our readers in the future, making sure that we listen to what your interests are. So please give us feedback. Either enter it into the comments down below or whenever you see us at events, please suggest other ideas. Also, we're also looking for more interesting gardens, not really garden, you know, not professionally designed gardens, but ones that you've nurtured and created over time. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. It doesn't have to be a neo garden scheme. We would like something to see that you've created, a little bit eclectic, a little bit unique, but basically your home, but worth sharing with the public. So. Please keep us informed, um, and what I'm going to do over the next couple of weeks, probably every week or so, and that's going to extend over the next year or so, give you updates of the magazine, but also of this property, this garden, what we're doing with it, and who we're speaking to about it. And we'll try to feature a couple of other gardens as we go along, and also public spaces. So, till next time, I look forward to uh, doing another podcast and another video like this, and um, stay tuned. Cheers. <laughs>